Hello everyone, welcome to Chanakya IAS Academy Current Affair MCQ. Let's see today's questions. Question number 1. The climate of a place is not necessarily affected by its. The options are A. Latitude, B. Longitude, C. Altitude and Relief, D. Continentality. The correct answer is B. Longitude. The factors affecting the climate of a region are location, altitude, distance from the sea and relief. Climate isn't necessarily affected by longitude but by latitude since it affects the availability of solar insulation. No geographical factor like pressure, temperature, wind etc. depends necessarily on longitude. Question number 2. A partial protection against double jeopardy is a the options are A. Constitutional right, B. Fundamental right, C. Provision under CRPC and D. Judicial convention. The correct answer is B. Fundamental right. A partial protection against double jeopardy is a fundamental right guaranteed under Article 20 of the Constitution of India which states no person shall be prosecuted and punished for the same offence more than once. Question number 3. Osteoporosis is a medical condition characterized by the options are A. Excessive bone tissue growth B. Abnormal curvature of the spine C. Weakening of bones leading to increased fragility and a higher risk of fractures and D. Inflammation of the joints The correct answer is C. Weakening of bones leading to increased fragility and a higher risk of fractures the experts at the Osteoporosis Awareness Summit observed that osteoporosis is a public health emergency. However, early screening and preventive lifestyle can help in proactive management and effective treatment. Osteoporosis is a disease that weakens your bones. It makes your bones thinner and less dense than they should be. Osteoporosis is a bone disease that develops when bone mineral density and bone mass decreases and or when the structure and strength of bone changes. This can lead to a decrease in bone strength that can increase the risk of fractures. Osteoporosis is a silent disease because you typically do not have symptoms and you may not even know you have the disease until you break a bone. Osteoporosis is the major cause of fractures in postmenopausal women and in older men. Fractures can occur in any bone but happen most often in bones of the hip, vertebrae in the spine and wrist. Question number 4. What is Vajra Mushti Kalaga known for in the context of cultural heritage? The options are A. A traditional form of Indian classical dance. B. A popular Indian martial art practice in the southern region. C. A unique form of Burmese tapestry weaving with mythological themes and D. An ancient grappling based fighting art. The correct answer is B. A popular Indian martial art practiced in the southern region. Vajra Mushti is an ancient grappling based fighting art that had one main difference from its modern day equivalent. The contestants wore knuckle duster on their right hands to add a devastating power to their blows. Vajra Mushti is a unique Indian martial art that incorporate various techniques of hand-to-hand -hand combat like grappling, wrestling and striking techniques. Vajra Mushti which literally means thunderbolt fist is characterized by the utilization of a knuckle duster, a small metal weapon. The knuckle duster also known as Vajra Mushti usually made of animal horns like buffalo, elephant is worn on the knuckles of the fighter. The main objective of this Indian martial art form is to neutralize the opponent and counter his weapon. Question number 5. Consider the following statement regarding whole genome sequencing. 1. WGS allows rapid identification of the origin and drug resistance profile of TB strain in the patients. 2. The genomic data of the organ the uh, two the genomic data of the organism can help in tuberculosis surveillance and detecting resistance which of these statements given above is or are correct the options are a one only b two only c both one and two d neither one no two 
The correct answer is C, both 1 and 2. An IIT Bombay incubated company has created a comprehensive drug resistance test for tuberculosis. Whole genome sequencing. WGS is a genetic fingerprinting technique that determines the entire DNA sequence of an organism which can be used for testing drug resistance TB. Statement 1 is correct. WGS would allow rapid identification of the origin and drug resistance profile of TB strains in the patients. Statement 2 is also correct. Analyzing the genomic data of the organism is an important molecular tool for TB surveillance and detecting resistance. We conclude today's session here. Tomorrow we will meet with few more MCQs. Till then, please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.